we got this one out. I had a cut. Look at all the roots. Look at all the roots in there. That's chock full of just roots and mud. This is full of roots. Wow. Look at these roots. Pull that. Pull it up. Look at that, dude. That's some serious. That's some serious rootage right there, bro. Wow. Holy crap. Look at those, dude. Damn. That's what I was pulling out. When I tried to snake this. Damn. Holy cow, bro. That's the whole length of this. Whoa. That's the whole length of this pipe right here. Damn. Damn. That's a good, what? 10 feet? 10 feet of some thicky thicks. Damn. 90s right here and it goes out to the street I keep digging this up having little technical difficulties we've already gotten up to the fence here but there's concrete or something and then it switches to uh, there's duct tape they have duct tape around the... they have duct tape <laughs> oh it looks like they're they used duct tape and they stuck it into that, that cast iron or orange bird or whatever it is. But we got a sanitary tee right here and this comes down in 90s. And I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention, but uh, this likely, not likely, it for sure ties into this. This might just be a regular tee to be honest with you. No, that's a sanitary tee. Or no, no, that's just a regular, regular tea. So, this is getting more and more complicated. All right, so we're pulling this out. Look at the roots that go into this. Let me pull it out a little bit. Look at, it's just packed solid with just roots, dude. I mean, those are stuck in there, bro. And this doesn't look like cast iron to me, bro. This, there's no roots in here. Really? Yeah. I'll camera it, but that looks like, that might be orange bird, bro. Might not even have to go all the way, just right here, tie it in. Yeah, yeah. Very possibly. But like you say, camera that bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna put the camera in there and see. That would be kind of nice. I'll work on this side real quick. And then we just have to jackhammer that up. We, we, we definitely gotta replace this 90 in this whole section because it's just, you can see it's, it's just chock full of roots. So this is the downspout, pulling out all these roots. Dang, hold that sucker up. That's a good, that's like, that's the length of that right there. Yep. I wonder if that pipe's okay. I think so. It might be okay, we don't have to jackhammer all this. I'll, I'll throw the camera in there as well and see. All right. So, we're going to see what's in here. Probably nothing. Yeah, that's clear. That's clear, so unless they want us to jackhammer all this up and replace it, which quite frankly I would, there's a little bit of rootage right there, but that... That might just be, nah, it is, it's kind of growing in at the 90 a little bit. It's 
just a little though. That might, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now let's do, uh, let's do the Orange Berg, which I think that's Orange Berg. We got a little bit of rootage, just a little. That's clear, mostly. That's mostly clear. That's the street, huh? Yeah. But who knows, it might be back pitched. We should just replace it to be honest with you but that's that ain't cast iron dude it's definitely not cast iron so this is what we're gonna try to do this is three inch and it fits perfectly in there and because it's clear uh, we might be able to fit a section of pipe in there uh, it's going to be approximately 13 feet but what we're trying to do obviously with the space here we're not going to have enough space to put a 12 footer in here at least i don't think unlikely i can measure real quick but this right here is now uh, this is about nine feet so we have i don't know maybe we could get a 12 footer 13 footer in there but what we're doing is we're just trying to bust out some of this asphalt so we can pound a a, a 13 you know get a 20 inch piece of pipe and just pound it through there You can see the tar and paper on the pipe. That's why I think it's Orangeburg. I just think the Orangeburg on that side is in better condition and it kind of looks like cast iron, but that's tar and paper, dude, 100%. We would have to, uh, because of the location of the pipe, we would have to do this anyway to give the, uh, the water some runoff here. But if we can uh, hammer a 13 foot piece of pipe through here, then we won't have to do any of this. It would be really nice. All right, so that idea didn't work. A coupling will not fit in there. Ooh, maybe, oh, look at that, maybe it will. Oh, interesting. Yeah, maybe that will. So you can see the tar. Tar and paper. See it? It's freaking orange bird, dude. 100%. How do I rip here? It's right here. See? That's it. I didn't think a coupling would fit, but it will fit. Coupling will fit. <coughs> we'll just have to hammer it in with a piece of wood. I think this will work, man. I have a 10 footer. You wanna try it? Should we try it real quick? All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna use ABS. Um, ABS has a higher probability of potentially cracking when we're trying to bend it to get in here 
because we have, can we measure this real quick? Just pull it to the wall. So we got, yeah, we got exactly, oh no, we only got about eight feet. We could cut this, the orange bird back a little bit. I think that might. You put it right there where it's. We can use couplings and shit. Um, Cause the coupling does fit in there. So we just measured everything. I'm gonna get about 50 feet of three inch PVC. And uh, and then we'll start we'll start laying the pipe. <laughs> lay the pipe tomorrow. And then once we lay that pipe. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what we'll probably do. And then we'll just use a sledgehammer and just just use a piece of wood and a sledgehammer and just smack and smack it through. Yeah. Alright, we got fifty feet of three inch PVC, schedule forty. And then um we'll start laying some pipe. I got a bunch of fittings. And we'll start laying pipe tomorrow.